Hello everyone and welcome to our Gaming on Mac YouTube channel. As you might know, Apple computers have changed a lot since 2020 when the new M1 Mac was released. This was a computer using a very different architecture which is called the ARM architecture, which differs from the most common one up until recently, which was the x86 architecture, very common with Intel and AMD processors. You might still remember reading how risky this movement was by Apple, how no games would work on it, how companies developing virtual machines would not support this push. But well, as soon as Parallels developed their own new system as a fully integrated virtual machine to be used mainly by Apple's M1 processors, those fears and attacks practically disappeared. Which points out to the topic of this video, which are the 10 best features to know about Parallels. Number 1. It is user-friendly. As soon as you install Parallels, you can just click on this plus sign here at the corner and you have a simple installing process giving you access to Ubuntu Linux, Fedora Linux, Debian GNU Linux and Kali Linux which is my personal favorite, having been designed for internet security. 2. Several systems on one machine. With Parallels, as we've seen, you can run a multitude of operating systems almost at the same time. Wanna check out Windows 11 ARM due to some issue? Let's go! Wanna run down to Kali Linux ARM to finish a project? Let's go! 3. More privacy. As you in can install Tor in an ARM version, and yes, Tor is available on ARM architecture, and install free VPNs on Kali Linux ARM, for example, you can navigate almost anonymously on the internet. Number 4. It is easier to erase your online steps. This one is very true, even though you have to be careful with whichever steps you take, as they might be recovered. Remember that in Parallels, you also have the option to kind of camouflage your physical machine so that the internet that you receive goes directly into your virtual OS and does not stop by your Mac OS. For that, you should start Parallels, click on the Settings option on your virtual machine, go to Network, and then choose Host Only. Number 5. Frequent Updates. Parallels launches frequent updates, meaning that the usage of Parallels gets better every time a new update is launched. And if by any chance you encounter a problem, it is quite possible that as soon as a new update is launched, that mistake will disappear. Number 6. Less online danger. In order to visit shady websites or programs that might include many viruses or backdoors, the virtual machine can serve as a sort of a container. As long as you didn't give access to any kind of sharing or host guests, it is safer. And the reason is that you can just erase the virtualized OS and install a new one. Number 7. Testing, testing, testing. Actually, this one counts for all three at once. What I mean by this is that it is the best way to create laboratories to test systems or network configurations, for example an app or a website. Parallels is a never-ending field for experiments. You can experiment a lot and you do not run the danger of making an error in a partition, for example, or ruining part of your original OS. You are able to do many steps with limited access to the hardware, Therefore, it is not as risky for your physical machine. If something gets destroyed, it is only the virtual machine getting most of the hit. Testing is a great positive aspect, but remember that there will always be virtual machine limitations. Some of the features I mention are undoubtedly about parallels, some are also related to Linux or even Windows. However, there are also negative sides to using virtual machines. These are, for example, limited access in terms of graphics, which affects gaming capabilities. Things always run better if they are native, which is also why people sometimes just prefer to have an older computer natively running Linux for, on the site, for example. These were my 10 best features to know about Parallels. Let me know if you have any other you would like to add. 
I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and from everyone here at Gaming on Mac, let's enjoy our tech lives. Bye!